Well, hey y'all, who wants slaw? We're gonna make just a regular, everyday, ordinary coleslaw today, and I'm gonna put together the dressing first so we can get to doing its thing. Now, I have a half a cup of mayonnaise. Use your favorite kind we're at Duke's house. You can use your favorite store brand, or my mother used Miracle Whip. I think she made slaw practically every day of my growing up life because Daddy loved it. Have a half a cup of sour cream, and you can use your favorite. If you rather have Greek yogurt, you could use that. If you wanted to use the lighter version, you could do that too. An angel got the wings. Okay, so to this, I have two tablespoons of white vinegar, and you can use your favorite. If you want to use a gussied up vinegar, do that. I have two tablespoons of just some plain white sugar. And if you would like to use a sugar substitute, you can do that as well. But I do recommend that you dissolve your sugar substitute in just a scant amount of water. Uh, sometimes that stuff doesn't want to dissolve like regular sugar does. Now I have just some plain old yellow mustard and you can use um, your favorite fancy mustard if you want to. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of that right there. Now you can use some caraway seeds, if, celery seeds, I'm sorry if you want to. Sometimes I put those in and, and sometimes I don't, but I'm just going to put just a just a pinch. They have kind of a, a bitter, earthy flavor, and they really do add to it, in my opinion. And I'm going to add just about a half a teaspoon, no, probably about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt because I'm going to taste it. We'll see. And we're just going to sprinkle pepper until our ancestors say, stop it, that's high enough. So we're just going to get this all mixed up. And should I have used my whisk? Probably, but we're already doing it this way, huh? Oh my goodness, this smells so good. And coleslaw is one of those things, y'all. It's just, it's basically anybody's dog that'll hunt it. You can do anything in the world to it. You can add your favorite ingredients. You can leave out the ingredients that everyone else likes. You can add um, diced up apples. Those are really good. You know, if I'm using it for sandwich spread, not sandwich spread, um, like a, you're going to put it on a barbecue and stuff like that, I don't put any of the fancy schmancy things in it because it just gets in the way. So let's just get us a little flavor with our popsicle stick and see what we think. That's good to me. Okay, we're going to set that aside. And let that do its thing. Now I have a wee little cabbage, head of cabbage here. <laughs> it's just the two of us, and I didn't want to buy that big honking size. So I just bought this size. I'm going to cut this in half, and you do want to take off the outer, outer la label, la outer leaves. My goodness. I can't even think today, y'all. And I'm sure this saw. Saw. Nah, duh. All right, so now, see, we have a core right here. I'm going to cut, let's see, I'm going to show you on this one a little bit better. There's more of a core. I'm going to cut this in half this way. And this is how, see the core right here. I'm going to lay it on its side. I'm going to take my knife at a 45 degree angle, and I'm just going to cut that core out of it. And you can save that and feed it to the chickens. Do the same thing to this side. The chickens will be so excited. Let's see, there's more. Hmm. There's a little bit on there. I'll be just like this. Now you can cut this cabbage however you would like to. You know, some people like their slaw stringy, and some people like their slaw in little bitty pieces. It kind of depends on what I'm going to be doing with it. Um, if I'm going to put it on a barbecue sandwich, a lot of times I'll leave it stringy. If I'm going to use it as a side dish, most of the time I chop it up smaller. So it's actually easier to eat. I think that's what I'm going to do today because we're not having any kind of sandwich with this. This is just a really easy side dish. I think I was telling y'all that mother made slaw all the time. It was one of those things that daddy would eat, and especially in the summertime whenever he was hot and he'd been on the farm all day and he would give out and miserable. She would make about a cup, and she didn't keep her slaw overnight. She would make, you know, she'd buy a head of cabbage when she was at the store once a week, 
And then she would make only the amount that he was going to eat at each meal. And that way it didn't get weepy. Because I have a feeling that my daddy didn't like it that way. So anyway, we're just going to get the rest of these chopped up. And if you want to add carrots, now this recipe is in my cookbook. And in my cookbook, I mentioned that you can use bell peppers and, and carrots and, and all kinds of things. And you absolutely can. But if it's just the two of us, I don't sweat the small stuff at all. I'm not going to go to all that trouble. And if you want to use a bag of cabbage, you go ahead and do that. And that's perfectly fine. There's not a thing wrong with it. But I just, I kind of like chopping it my own self. Let's make a little room here. We'll get the rest of this all chopped up. And I'll be honest, this is a dish that I did not appreciate and like as I was growing up at all. And, you know, honest to Pete, I don't know if I ever took a bite of it. I don't know if I did or not. But as I've gotten older, and really as I started uh, cooking for myself, then I, I learned that I do like slaw. But I'll tell you this. I like my slaw. I don't, I don't really like anybody else's slaw. I have two different kinds of slaw. I have one of them that is a um, mayonnaise base, which is this one. And then I have one that is a vinegar base. And you soak it in salt for a couple hours before you soak your cabbage in salt. And that pulls a lot of the water out. And that is so good, especially on a pulled pork sandwich. Get you in the big old bowl here. Purple cabbage. If you add some purple cabbage to this, y'all, it would be beautiful. Okay. So, let's give our dressing here another little turn. And I'm not going to pour all of this just in case I don't need it. And then I can save this for another day. It'll last about three or four days. You know, when you're thinking about how long something's going to last in the icebox, look at the expiration date of all of your ingredients, and that will tell you how long that's going to last for you. Okay, let's see what we think about this. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to add one stalk of celery that I have diced up, and I've got one green onion. And we're just going to put this in there. This will give it a little personality and a little bit of crunch crunch. Let's see. Let's add just a scotch more. And you can put this dressing in a, a um, little ball jar and put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator. And you have got it going on. Okay. Everything looks tossed. I don't like it soupy. A lot of people do like their slaw soupy, and so that's, you need to know your, your crown, y'all. Okay. Now, did I bring a, a spoon in here to taste this? No, I'm going to use the other end of my popsicle stick. It'll be fine. Looky there, that's plenty. Mmm. Y'all, that's very good tangy, but not like the kind that hits you right here, you know, makes your one eye blink close. That is really good. Okay. Now, the way I serve it, if I'm taking it to somebody or I've got uh, people coming over, I put it in a pretty dish. If it's just the two of us, I put slaw, um, that corn salad, that crunchy corn salad we made the other day together, that was so good. And potato salad. I put those in a Ziploc bag. And then we'll just scoop out what we need. And it saves a lot of space in your refrigerator. I mean, think about it. Between these two, this is the way to go. Okay, y'all. I'm going to put this in the Ziploc bag and put it in the icebox and let it sit there till we get ready to eat my yum yum. So, I will see you next time. And y'all go do something fun. Bye, y'all.